Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Today's going to be an energy read with a full Celtic cross. Before that, though, I'm going to use these Kipper cards to uh, just put out three cards and see if they give us some direction for the day to day. But then that'll be followed by a full Celtic cross and an energy read. So hang on. Okay, so this Sola Busca Tarot uh, are great cards. These are museum quality and uh, these are uh, in the era of the Italian Renaissance. So I love these cards. Los Carabio, amazing box that come in. Look at that. And uh, you really feel like you got a great gift if you got these. The book is pretty cool too, but it's not in color, but it's a lot of interesting story. I mean, you have to be interested in reading this to kind of get through the book, but there's some good tips on divination in there too. The cards um, are great. I mean, they're slick, they're big. Um, so that's something that makes them a little bit hard to use. But, um, you know, these date back from around, like I said, the mid to late 1700s, I guess. And they're an assemblage of different uh, uh, examples of cards from a couple different uh, museum pieces, I think, or private collections. And then they put them together to make this whole 78 card stack. But, I mean, look, I mean, they're gorgeous. You see them, how beautiful they are and colorful. It's just hard to use them. Um, you just have to commit to uh, how are you going to uh, work out your divination. So... Really love these cards. I'm so glad I got them. The Solabusca Tarot. And, um, but honestly, I don't use them that often because they're a little tricky to use. Gosh, and look what a mess I made trying to do this. You know, this is a good way to mix the cards up. And uh, if you want somebody, if you're doing a reading and you want to kind of get their energy into the cards, I mean, look how much you have to handle them to get them back together. So that's all good uh, for me as far as getting the uh, cards uh, mixed up with some good uh, juju. So this will be interesting because I'm going to use this um, Kipper deck to lay out three uh, cards of a sort of oracle or energy cards. Then I'm going to use the, of course, the Busca deck to do the uh, full uh, Celtic cross. But um, some of this uh, imagery in here is, is so um, difficult that I'm going to use this uh, interpretive, uh, these interpretive pages if I need to. I've already mapped them out here, uh, pegged them off. So you see this on the table, that's why. So don't worry, <laughs> I'll put it down here. All right, so let's see, energy reading for today. So you should just tell me, take a deep breath. <sighs> Try to relax, close your eyes. Um, you know, think about what's important to you right now and what sort of goals you wanna to get today or for the next few hours or for whatever period of time, you know, not beyond more than just about, you know, six or eight hours um, today. And uh, we'll see um, if this will be useful. Uh, energy read for those of you who choose to follow me today. I'm going to take six cards right off the top. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Scoop these up because I'm going to need them for the last four in just a minute. So leave that there and see what do we have a signifier card for us today. And then first we'll go to the Kipper. If you haven't seen these uh, cards, they're really cool. They're gilded. There's a nice little instruction booklet in here. The box is uh, great. And um, so we'll use these to just kind of give us uh, three areas uh, to focus on today. So it won't be an answer for questions that you have. I mean, maybe it will. Uh, you should, uh, if you think you can, uh, you might be useful to you that way, feel free to think of a question. But uh, really, it's just to focus on what we can look for today. Two. And three. Okay, if you think you want to choose a card, feel free. Remember, you can stop the tape. One, two, three. And we're going to reveal them. So the first card, if that's what you chose, despair. So despair for me, I don't know that it's such a useful uh, feeling. I suppose we have to uh, uh, eliminate those emotions from our body uh, when we feel them, but uh, we just want to make sure that we don't spend too long in despair. And I'm, I'm kind of reminded of this little uh, pet this fellow has here. This pet is going to uh, mimic the emotions of his owner. 
So the sooner that this fellow's uh, um, mentality changes, so does his pet. And uh, so let's don't let despair rule us. Let's rule despair. We chose number two, uh, the lovers. So this is a lovely card because it shows us that there, we need to make partnerships. Even if it's just a friendly hello or a nod or um, if it's a full-fledged uh, dedication to someone uh, when we when we acknowledge other people in our life it uh, starts our uh, and, um, energetic juices and uh, so let's look for uh, for that and if you chose number three the main female so this is interesting I mean we all have a mother um, we all uh, have someone in our life who is uh, important to us but may not be the ultimate authority and I'm sorry to have that kind of uh, uh, um, uh, lopsided view, but uh, in, I think in this regard, especially in the time period these cards were laid out, we want to think of that person uh, in our life in the past or now or, or maybe someone we're looking for who will be that uh, feminine influence for us. So those are the first three cards. I'm going to put them way off to here so they don't interfere too much with the reading, and then we'll get on with that. The signifier card of this energy read for today then is, I bet I'm going to have to use that right away. Okay, this is the uh, world, isn't it? Yeah, this is the world. Um, this is the this is enlightenment, this is responsibility, wisdom, uh, triumph. Uh, this is uh, really the end of the cycle, having gained all the knowledge that was available, uh, or that you could gain, that you were possible, that was allowed for you uh, to gain uh, during that cycle. So you've completed the, uh, the session, let's say, and, um, and you can feel good about uh, moving on. The challenge to that then is the Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles is, um, gosh I'm drawing a blank here. I know I should know my, my card. Now I'm just uh, being uh, foolish now. Uh, oh yeah, so this is where you're distributing wealth. I use my cheat sheet over here also. Ta -da. But uh, yeah, this is the distribution of wealth. I'm not sure about how it's depicted here in this card. I mean this fella is, sh it looks like this is actually uh, music down here, uh, although he's got a hammer uh, in his hand. So I would say, yeah, the six of uh, the challenge to this finishing this is making sure that you've distributed all the knowledge uh, that you acquired appropriately, or maybe distributed even within yourself. The basis of this reading, then, is the six of wands, and um, the six of wands. I'm, gosh, I'm just drawing a blank on everything today. Is yeah, that's what celebrations of having uh, completed a task. And uh, if I would just look at the card, I would see that you've got the celebratory um, uh, flag right here, and uh, the, the way is lit, uh, is lit. and uh, I, this is so funny how his uh, drawers are kind of drooping below here. But yeah, this is having completed the journey and, uh, and, and happy about doing so. Okay, in the past of this reading is the uh, Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Wands is, is the fact that we had a load to carry. You know, it was a heavy load, uh, but um, that's what we expected. And the sky of this reading is the uh, Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is like happy family, like everything wonderful. You know, all um, your wishes fulfilled and things really going just your way. So uh, the trip that we had around the world in this respect has been good so far. And in the uh, outcome of this, uh, we have the King of Rods. So the, the King of Rods is telling us that um, uh, we're in charge of the plans that uh, we have for ourselves. Now, if we go ahead, I'm going to take them right off the top, as a matter of fact. The uh, self for this reading is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands really just tells us uh, that uh, it's an embattlement, it's a heavy load again, and it's really, all of this talks about the journey that we had uh, going through this uh, situation. The environment that that's in is the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion, so this is, you know, all the choices that uh, were, are, are to be made along the way. So not only is it a heavy load, but it's a lot of decisions to be made. The uh, hopes and the fears for this is the 11. I don't remember, so um, so let me look that one up, number 11. I don't recall uh, which one that is. So take a look right here in the book. Oh yes, yeah, strength, of course. So uh, strength, let me take a look at this. So it's an odd way to depict strength. You might see how, I'm not sure how I can get strength out of that, but the hopes and the fears is strength. And I guess there would have to be a hope that we have the strength that we need to carry us through this journey. And then the final outcome of everything is the uh, page of um, coin here, page of coin. 
So this page of coin is the messenger. You know, he doesn't know what he's bringing to court. But he says, this is the value that has been given to me to deliver to you. And, um, and so we want to uh, know that after all of this, that we're just as good as information that we have. That was a difficult read for me. These cards are hard to use. And uh, I'm just going to go through a synopsis. I'm not going to read through the whole thing again. Uh, but uh, the signifier of this was uh, the uh, world card. So having come to the completion of the journey. And so when you've done that, you've got all the knowledge that you need to, to start something uh, next. And uh, the starting something next was signified here in the Six of Pentacles, where we're talking about distribution of wealth and making sure that things were distributed or are distributed appropriately. Uh, in the sky of that uh, then was the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is everything great and going exactly the way you expected it to and uh, would want the outcome to be. The self uh, in the lower part of that was the Nine of uh, Wands, which is embattlement. I mean, really having to ha go through the ringer, but ready to take on more. And... Um, then we know that that's capable because the hopes and the fears brought us strength. And uh, with that, uh, we know we can carry ourselves through. But just remember, uh, now we're starting on that new journey. So we got the page here, just the, the youngest of the court members with a solid uh, idea right here, something of value to begin anew. That's where we're at. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.